Hello everybody, this is Mario and welcome to the fourth video of this mini-series. Our wrap is pretty much done at this point, so a very exciting moment is going to come. Basically, we are going to test it live on your own device. In order to do that, you will have to take care of three things. First of all, you will have to enable the developer mode on your Android device. Secondly, you will need to enable USB debugging on your Android device. And third, you will need to connect your Android device to your laptop or desktop computer through a USB cable. If you don't have access to any Android device, don't worry. You will be able to use the simulator, the device simulator, which is built right into Android Studio. But anyway, for the sake of this tutorial, I will assume that you have access to an Android device and that you are able to go through all the steps listed on this slide. In case you have doubts or um, you are having troubles with this, just Google it. There's going to be plenty of resources available for you that will guide you through. So let's just go back to Android Studio for some testing, shall we? Now, our Android device is connected to our laptop and we are really ready to test our app. Doing that is very simple. We just need to click on this green play button and we will see this pop up. Yeah, we will see a virtual device down here and we will see our physical device here on top and we'll just click on it and that's it. At this point, you, if everything goes all right, we will hopefully see a bunch of green ticks down here. This means that everything was all right and that Android Studio was able to install the app on the local device. Now, let's just check on the phone what the app looks like. All right. It seems that Android Studio successfully installed the app because look, over here, we can see the icon of the app. If we click on it, the app should open up. And well, it seems to work just fine. But anyway, there seems to be just a little problem. Over here, we can see the URL bar. But don't worry, this is not a big deal. We'll just take care of it later. To address the issue, we will have to establish a link between the website and the app. But as I said before, we'll do it later on. For now, let's just be happy with the fact that we know that our app works just fine. In fact, we are almost ready to upload it to Google Play. In the next video, we will take care of preparing the app for upload. 